Hey guys, Alton here. First off, I want to say thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. And for today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at one of my selected lectures from my best selling 10 and a half hour introduction to information security management course. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. Since we don't trust the internet and we don't trust any of the users or the data that's coming from the internet, we set up what is called a DMZ. And so this stands for a demilitarized zone and it comes from military terms and IT people have taken that term and they have applied it to IT security. So a DMZ is a buffer zone between a private network, that being our internet, this is where all the employees reside and the public area, which is the internet. So this buffer area, the way that it works is that we have a firewall protecting it. So we'll have a firewall here and we'll have a firewall here. And any data that wants to get into our network has to go through the DMZ. Um, and also within this DMZ, we may have other things set up such as a proxy server as well. Um, but a lot of the times what we want to use this DMZ for is to provide an extra layer of protection to our services, and our servers. So anything that anybody needs access to from the internet, maybe we have public information we want to provide our customers. Maybe let's say, for example, we are um, a company such as Logitech and we have all sorts of different hardware and software devices where we have to provide drivers, we have to provide software updates, and all that data needs to go to our customers. Well, we don't want our customers accessing our internal network. We want them only accessing the DMZ where we're going to provide them all this information. This is where we're going to put our web server. This is where we're going to put um, all the files that they can gain access to. So all of that is going to be in the DMZ. So this is going to be accessible to from the internet into the internet and it's all the public services that we want to provide um, maybe one we want to provide a public wireless access point for customers in our lobby um, like again like I said if we're a company like Logitech if we have software that people need to download such as driver and software updates and software that supports our hardware and technology that'll be in the public web server and a public FTP server so that's what the DMZ is for. Um, and one of the main reasons is because of this point right here. We allow anonymous internet users access to it. And like I said, remember, we don't trust anybody. So we're definitely not going to trust anonymous people coming from the internet getting access past this point. So anybody that is trying to get anything from us and that they need access to when they're anonymous, they're never going to get past this point. This is our, our firewall that's going to protect our internal network. So they'll only get access to the DMZ, and then once they get access, they will exit back out to the internet. So that's the DMZ. Now, in terms of how the actual architecture of a DMZ works, I know, again, this was that 10,000 foot view at it, um, but if you do want to find out more about DMZs, you can just simply Google it or you can go to YouTube and you'll find a lot of detailed information on DMZs. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.